Hello and welcome to Trucking Answers. I'm Mark. I've been a driver for over 30 years and I think it's time that we got paid for every minute that we work. If you agree, consider subscribing. Today, let's talk about 395.1, the Adverse Conditions Exemption under the FMCSA Hours of Service Laws. We're going to be using this more in the winter. So let's get a quick overview of how it works and what it is so that we can use it correctly so we don't get tickets. Okay, that's super important. Here's the exact wording of it, and then we're going to talk about it for a minute. Snow, sleet, fog, or other adverse weather conditions, a highway covered with snow or ice, or unusual road or traffic conditions, none of which were apparent on the basis of information known to the person dispatching the run at the time it was begun. So it's something you didn't know about when you started out and there was not a way for you to know about it. It isn't just, I didn't check and so I'm stuck. The DOT takes a dim view of that. And uh, when you have an adverse condition, you can drive two extra hours. That means you get 13 hours of drive time, but you still cannot exceed your 14 hour day. It does not extend your day. So you can drive up to two more extra hours to find a safe parking location or to complete your run or whatever it is. And please put a notation in your log. The DOT strongly recommends it, and so do I, that you're using this 395.1 adverse conditions exemption. So uh, normal things like traffic that is normal, like rush hour does not qualify. A snowstorm in Wyoming, you know, may or may not qualify. The adverse condition, uh, a highway covered with snow or ice would seem to qualify, but did you know about it at the beginning of your trip? Was there a way to know about it? That's how you should think about it. Was there any way I could have found out about this at the beginning? Of course, every day, you should be checking this, right? You should check weather, road conditions, stuff happens. So somebody hits a bridge, the road's closed, something like that. That's one thing, right? An unusual road or traffic condition. But just general rush hour traffic is not gonna qualify. Snow in the winter in an area that normally gets snow would be tough to qualify. Whatever you put down, if you're audited or in an accident or someone hits you, you'll have to justify it. So be sure that you can do that. Put a notation exactly what the problem was and then you'll be fine using 395.1. Uh, Remember, this also does not take away your 30 minute break. Okay, all it gives you is two hours drive time. So if that were to put you in a time where you would need another 30 minute break because of the time you took it, you would have to do that. All it does is give you two hours of drive time, it still cannot exceed 14 hours, okay? That's how it works. If you have any questions, let me know, Mark, at truckinganswersnation.com. I answer all my emails, and I love to hear from everybody. Thank you for being there, and uh, we'll be back soon with more Trucking Answers.